Well, I thought we'd better get a heads up on making Christmas cards this year because the season of our lives in lockdown is somewhat difficult. And I know that in my country, where I'm living in Africa, that the postal service is really, really backlogged at the moment because flights haven't been leaving the country. So if you do need to send cards to relatives and family overseas and friends, then now's a good time to start, even though it's still early in the year. So today I'd like to show you a really quick and easy way to do some bulk cards um, using scraps of fabric. And it's actually a wonderful idea. You're going to need a sheet of A4 paper and you need to you're going to draw up this template. So you're going to divide it exactly in half. And then on one side, you're going to measure 7.5 centimeters all the way along. And then on the top side, you're going to just measure um, 7.5 all along and then here on the center line 3.5 centimeters in on either side that will be half of one of these triangles and then you join them up so that you've pretty much got this harlequin pattern and so one um, sheet of a4 paper is actually going to make you 14 of these christmas card trees so that's a really quick way to actually get going with that so the next stage that you're going to have is to actually take your sheet of paper and you're going to take some strips of fabric and a glue stick and all we're going to do now is simply just to take our glue stick smear it onto the paper and then start building up layers of strips so it doesn't matter if your strips don't um, go all the way across you can join them because they will be nice and secure once we've done this the next stage. So I'm going to just start building up my layers um, one strip at a time and don't worry about the width of the strips that's not too serious. You could go for something like this and if it was too wide then simply just tear it. I quite like the um, texture of the torn edge as opposed to a cut um, edge. It's not as harsh. So we'll see. Did I put glue on here? Yes. So I'm going to just stick this down, press it down all the way nicely. And you would continue layering up your sheet, covering from one side to the other completely. Now, because this has got a nice outline and it's quite dark, and so yeah, make sure that you do do it in a dark color, um, and you can photocopy them if you want to do multiples. Then you're going to turn your piece of paper over and you will still be able to see the lines showing through and you're going to stitch on your sewing machine tram lines. So for those of you that are not sewers, you won't know what a tram line is. We use this often in quilting. You stitch two lines next to each other with a gap in between. And the reason why we're doing that is so that we can cut between these two lines. Can you see that nicely? We're going to cut between these two lines, giving us this tree that's going to have a stitching around the edge and this tree will have a stitching around the edge. And then to secure all your strips of fabric, you're just going to stitch across them. And I've just used a wavy pattern stitch here because I just thought it was nice and decorative. Okay, so when your glue is completely dry, you're now going to take your scissors and cut between these tram lines. And this will go quite easily and quite quickly. Right, all the way to the top. Obviously, if you want to, you could use your rotary cutter for this, but I find that sometimes it's just easier with a pair of scissors between that. Trim off any little excess pieces of card and things that you have. And then you want to just find a piece of blank card stock. And the next step here would be to put some double-sided tape, which is this nice thin sticky tape kind of thing that's Got adhesive on both sides. Put some of that on here so that you can actually turn this over and stick that down onto your card. Then once you've stuck this down onto your card, the next step would be to take some corrugated card. Um, actually this one you're not going to see so easily because it's black. Okay, you could take some corrugated card like this and you've got two options. You can either draw a little tub shape or you could just do something like a stem. So you've now got your things laid up nicely. You've got your blank piece. You've stuck it onto your card. You could mount that onto another color card if you wanted to. 
Um, I could even, if I chose to, swap this over and put it on a red. You can really play around with your colors. Then the next step would be to stick your base color card onto your blank and then decorate it. I've just glued some little sequins on here. And then the last thing would be just to simply finish off the top with a little bow. I think I like that one on top there. And I like that one on the top there. You could actually also even just use um, something like a little star. I've got a big bag of stars, but for the life of me, I couldn't find them today. When it comes to decorating the tree, you've got lots and lots of different ways that you could do this. So here's a little project that is very quick to do. And I hope that this will inspire you to actually get on and make some of your Christmas cards. I just want to show you with this one, I used a slightly different stitch here. For edging so you can really play around with your embroidery stitches um, when you come to do it and I've made this this particular card design for many years now and even though people know the same card is coming they just love it because each little tree is different so happy sewing happy stitching and happy card making and get them out early um, you'll be pleased that you did bye for now